2 Samuel chapter 19, verse 15 is where we left off. So the king returned and came to Jordan. And Judah came to Gilgal to meet, to go to meet the king, to conduct, that's the first time that word shows up, the king over Jordan. So David's coming back in the land of Israel. He's, he's been away. He's run from Absalom. Absalom's dead. We're coming back. We're breaking this chapter in several, because it's interesting things here. In verse 16, and Shimei, the son of Gera, a Benjaminite, which was of Baharim, hasted and came down with the men of Judah to meet King David. And there were a thousand men of Benjamin with him. And Ziba, the servant of the house of Saul, and that's the one that's over Mithibosheth, and his 15 sons and his 20 servants with him, and they went over Jordan before the king. Now, this Shimei, let's look at 2 Samuel 16, 5 and bring to call what Shimei, who he is. David's on the run. He's left the palace. He's left Jerusalem. He's on his way to cross the Jordan River. Where we are now, he's coming back over. But here in 16.5. And when King David came to Bahurim, behold, thence came out a man of the family, the house of Saul, whose name was Shimei. There he is. The son of Gera. There he is. He came forth and cursed still as he came. So he's not coming to David with goodwill. And he cast stones at David. We've already discussed this. You can find this in 2 Samuel 16. At the servants of the king and at all the servants of King David. So he's casting stones. He wants David dead. Stoning is a method of capital punishment. And all the people and all the mighty men were on his right hand and on his left. And thus said Shimei when he cursed. Come out, come out, thou bloody man. Yes, we said that's true. That's why he's trying to stone David. He's a bloody man. He killed Uriah, but God had mercy on him. And thou man of Belial. No, that's the devil, 2 Corinthians 6.15. David's not of Satan. And the Lord returned upon thee all the blood of the house of Saul. That's a lie. It's not. David's in the circumstances he's in now. Not because of Saul. But because of Uriah. And Bathsheba. In whose stead thou hast reigned. God gave it over. And the Lord has delivered the kingdom into thy hand of Absalom thy son. True. And behold thou art taken in thy mischief. Because thou art a bloody man. Watch this one, verse 9. And Abishai, the son of Zariah, unto the king, Why should this dead dog curse my lord the king? Let me go out, let me go over, and I pray that he take off his head. We've already discussed this. And the king said, What have I to do with you, ye sons of Zariah? So let him curse. Because the Lord has said unto him, Curse. Curse David. Who shall then say, Wherefore hast thou done so? David said to Abishai and to all his servants, Behold, my son, Solomon, uh, Absalom, who, who came forth from my bowels, seeketh my life. But how much more now may this Benjamite do it? Let him alone. Let him curse, for the Lord has bidden him. It may be that the Lord will look on my affliction, and that the Lord will requite me good for his cursing this day. And as David and his men went by the way, Shimei went, along the hillside over against him, and cursed as he went, and threw stones at him, and cast dust. All right, there's Shimei. David's on the run. David may not ever get his kingdom back. Shimei steps in there, he's cursing. The enemy of David, Absalom, has been put down. David's coming back to the kingdom. Guess who shows up? Shimei. Oh, I'm in trouble. And let me ask you, would you think that this is 
a true confession of Shimei Iowa. Do you think, you know, he wants to get his butt out of trouble? Because here comes David. David's coming to take the throne. I'm in trouble. So verse 18 of chapter 19. And they went over a ferry. That's the only time ferry shows up in the Bible. 1617? 16, 16, yeah, we read that. Shimei, the son of Gerard, Benjamin, which was a Bahurim, hasted and came down with the men of Judah. That's David's men. To meet King David. And there were a thousand men of Benjamin with him. And Ziba. That's Mephibosheth's servant. The servant of the house of Saul. And fifteen sons. And his twenty servants with him. And they went over Jordan. They crossed over to Jordan. They are not in the land of Israel no more. He's going to meet David. Before the king. And they went over a ferry. That's the only time ferry shows up in the Bible. And boat. That's the first time boat shows up in the Bible. And it's like I said, it's a boat to transport livestock, people, carts, to carry over the king's household and to do what he thought good. And Shimei, the son of Gera, fell down before the king as he was come to Jordan. Oh boy, he's a lot different than last time we read about him. He knows he's in trouble. He never expected David to come back. And Absalom. Oh, Absalom would love Shimei. You cursed my father. You hated my father. Good boy. Things have changed. And said unto the king, Let not my lord impute iniquity. Let not be charged. Don't hold me accountable. Well, you better not open up your big mouth. You better control your anger. The Bible says, be angry, but sin not. Shimei sinned. He got angry. But then he sinned. Unto me. Neither do thou remember that which thy servant we did perversely. That's the first time that word shows up. And we just read that in 2 Samuel 16. Shimei is reacting to David. Now that David's alive and well. Well, what I did was perverse. Please don't impute that to me. Don't charge me. The day that my Lord the King went out of Jerusalem, that's chapter 16, that the King should take it to his heart. Don't think about it, David. Please forgive me. Don't kill me. He's only sorry because he's in trouble. For my servant, for thy servant, excuse me, does know that I have sinned. To get your butt out of trouble. Therefore, behold, I am come the first this day of all the house of Joseph to go down to meet my Lord, the king. You're coming down because you don't want to get, because if, if King David remembers what you've done to him later on, and he will, now verse 21. But Abishai, the son of Zeruiah, answered and said, Shall not Shimei be put to death for this because he cursed the Lord's anointed? Abishai remembered. And David said, here we go. The familiar phrase with his sister's sons. What have I to do with you, you sons of Zeruiah? I'm getting tired of this, guys. Her sons want blood, want death, want someone's head. And this is completely opposite of David. That ye should this day be adversaries unto me. Shall there any man be put to death this day in Israel? For do not I know that I am this day king over Israel? I don't even know if I'm the king anymore. I don't know what the political standard of Israel is right now. I do not have the right to put that man to death. I wish you guys shut up. <laughs> Therefore the king said unto Shimei, Thou shalt not die. Now there's an oath. And the king sweared unto him. So David said out of his mouth, Shimei, I'm not going to kill you. Now we're going to jump ahead 
the first Kings 2, 8. He's going to get justice, Shimei. But Solomon's going to do it. Let's check one more plate here. So, 1 Kings 2, 8. David's talking to Solomon, who is now king. He's giving orders, he's giving instructions to Solomon. And behold, thou hast with thee Shimei, the son of Gurum, the Benjamite of Bahurim. There he is. We left David saying, I'm not going to kill you. But you did me injustice, which cursed me with a grievous curse in the day when I went to Maharam. But he came down to meet me at Jordan, what we just read, and I swear to him by the Lord. Now, now you didn't see. By the Lord, I'm, he just said, I'm not going to kill you. See, scripture with scripture and studying, you learn more. I swear to him by the Lord, capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D, saying, I will not put thee to death with the sword. We didn't read that back here in 2 Samuel 19. David's given an account more information as the Holy Spirit will. What happened that afternoon or that money that that morning that Shimei showed up? Now therefore hold him not guiltless. Uh-oh. He's guilt. Didn't he say? Didn't he say, oh, I'm sorry? It wasn't a proper repentance. It was a sorry, I don't want my butt. And there are going to be people who say, Lord, didn't I do it? Lord, didn't I say I was sorry? Didn't I tell that judge, boo-hoo? And God's going to say, hey, it was not a proper repentance. Because if he was truly sincere about his apology, David would not have told Solomon and hold him guiltless. For thou art a wise man, Solomon, and knowest what thou oughtest to do with him. But his whore head, white head, bring thou down to the grave with blood. Why with blood? Look at the charge he put against David, the false accusation against Saul. I know it was uh, Uriah, but it was false accusations of Saul trying to kill David. So those are the words to Solomon in verse 26 of chapter 2. Twenty-six. Now to by far the priest said the king, Solomon, David's dead, get thee to Anatha. That's where Jeremiah lives. Unto thy own fields, for thou art worthy of death. But I will not put this time put thee to death, because thou bearest the ark of the Lord God before David my father, and because thou hast been afflicted in all wherein my father is afflicted. So he thrusts out Abiathar. He's cleaning the house of David that David couldn't do. He's got one more charge. Verse 36. And that what we just read in 26 was a fulfillment of the prophecy of 1 Samuel 22.18 of Eli's house. Verse 36. Here we go. And the king sent and called for Shimei. There he is again. Let's find out a Shimei. And said unto him, Build thee a house in Jerusalem, and dwell there, and go not forth thence any whither. I want you to build a house right next to me. I want to keep my eye on you. If you were unfaithful with my dad, you think I'm going to trust you? You better get close to me. And Solomon's setting them up. For it shall be that on the day that thou goest out, you leave Jerusalem. 
and passes over the brook Kidron. You're, you're on your way out. You're leaving. It's almost that uh, Solomon is setting up for Shimei, a city of a city of refuge kind of thing. I want you to go in Jerusalem, build your house, and stay there. And there's no ever you can leave when. You just better stay there. Thou shalt know for certain that thou shalt surely die. Thy blood, that's what David told him, shall be upon thy own head. And Shimei said unto the king, The saying is good. As my lord the king has said, so will thy servant do. He agrees every way, 100%. And Shimei dwelt in Jerusalem many days. And it came to pass at the end of three years. That's many days, three years. You wouldn't think many days is three years, but when God's long-suffering and patient, that two of the servants of Shimei ran away unto Achish, the son of Micaiah, king of Gath. And they told Shimei, saying, Behold, thy servants be in Gath, runaway slaves. Shimei rose and saddled his ass and went to Gath to Achish to seek his servant. And Shimei went and brought his servants from Gath. He goes, he gets them, he brings them back. And it was told Solomon that Shimei had gone from Jerusalem to Gath and was come again. Not bad, he just went to get some servants. The king sent and called for Shimei and said unto him, did I not make thee swear by the Lord? You didn't read that in 36, 37, 38. Extra information. When Shimei stands before Solomon in the court of the throne, you better swear by God right now. You're going to stay in Jerusalem. I swear by God. What you said is perfectly right, king. And protested unto thee, saying, Know for certain, on the day that thou goest out and walkest abroad, any whither, anywhere you go, any for any reason, thou shalt surely die. Ooh, where would you see that? And thou says unto me, the word that I have heard is good. He quotes what Shimei says. You agreed with me. Why then hast thou not kept the oath of the Lord? Jehovah. It's not me you violated Shimei, it's God. And the commandment that I have charged thee with. The king said, Moreover to Shimei, thou knowest all the wickedness which thy heart is privy to. Ah, oh, so that wasn't really repentance, was it? That thou didst to David my father, therefore, the Lord shall return thy wickedness upon thy own head. And King Solomon said, I mean, and King Saul shall be blessed, and the throne of David shall be established before the Lord forever. So the king commanded Benaniah, the son of Jehoiada, which went out and fell upon him, Shimei, that he died. And the kingdom was established in the hand of Solomon. So that was not a proper repentance of Shimei. And there are people out there, oh, I'm sorry. The only reason why you're sorry is because you got caught. Shimei and I tried not ever to make anything right with David. And he left David hanging. David's last words were, okay, I'm not going to kill you. And that was it. There was no trying to make resolvement of David or to David. When a man repents of his sins, he tries to do something to get right. If he's stolen somebody from somebody, he said, listen, how much do I owe you? What do I owe you? Shimei doesn't do that. And since David made an oath of the Lord saying, I'm not going to kill you. And yet he's still guilty. David goes to his son and says, Solomon, I can't do it. You got to do it. And at that point, David becomes a type of God. Solomon becomes a type of Jesus Christ. And God says to the son, Jesus, all judgment's in your hand now, son. Take care of it. And that's exactly what happened.